Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Easy Tech Support and today is 12th of July 2023. So in this video we will be trying to see how the remote sensing, the sentinel images can be used to access how the flood extent in Himachal Pradesh that occurred on 8th and 9th of July. On the upper map you can see the sentinel 2 after flood event has been mapped and on the downside we can see the sentinel 2 before flood is mapped so when you move around in the down map then you can see that the upper map is also moving and if you zoom in in the upper map then the down map is also going to zoom so this synchronization it's called the linked map so with the help of this linked map we can we can see the difference in the before flood and the after flood which can be very very much useful while accessing the disaster event so you can see this is the river and you can see the changing color due to uh, the sedimented color in the river because of the flood so if i zoom out let me just go to some other place this is the himachal pradesh so if i go to other place so here is the Maharana Pratap Sagar so you can see here the coastal region before and the after so the flood has really impacted and this is just three or four days there are some limitations in the sentinel image in terms of temporal so you can see that some areas there are uh, there are images missing which are not available yet as we are doing this mapping and assessment on 12th of July so after a few days uh, other part will also be available and here you can see there are lots of cloud so there are some limitations with the sentinel 2 images and later episode will be dealing with the sentinel 1 images that doesn't depend upon the cloud cover so we'll be doing that step by step so let's just begin and focus on this tutorial so we'll be building the linked maps so here we can see the first step would be defining the region of interest here and we'll be taking the gaul which is global administrative unit layer you can look for the gaul here and learn a lot about the gaul the description and other features can be seen from here okay it's global administrative unit layers and if uh, i will be selecting the india and also will be selecting the himachal pradesh level one data and here here first uh, we will be selecting the data set for after the flood event we will be saying that we will be defining that as image one collection and i'll be using the copernicus sentinel surface reflectance data and here I am selecting the images before the event from 5, 5 1 to 7 0 1. So I'll also be defining the cloud cloud pixel. So I'll be selecting lesser than 10 percentage cloud cover as there are, there are uh, lots of images available. And here in this code, I will be I will be finding out how many numbers of images are available for image one collections that is after the flood event and how many numbers of images are available before the flood that is image to collections and when I run then you can see it in my console that image one collections I have nine elements nine images available and similarly for image to collections before the flood event there are 74 elements available so I'll be merging these data sets and here in the step two we'll be making the linked map uh, so for the linked map here is the uh, code snippet ui.map functions uh, would be used here and I'll be also setting the map options that uh, I am defining the up map and the down map so first of all I have selected the terrain as it will be also showcasing me the relief informations the contours uh, so uh, after that I'll also be setting the region of interest so I can see here in this this red region and also in my layer I can see the image one and region of interest layer so this region of interest layer is defined here 
and now I will be adding the image is one, image one and image two. So image one is all about the after flood event and image two is all about the before flood event. So I will be passing these parameters image one and also the visualization parameters and also the naming pa naming parameters. I can give this anything. And now I, I also want to add the label is in the result you can see here and this is for the up map and this is for the down map up label and down label and so we can see I am adding this label to my map and here uh, I am defining this linked map that ui.map.linker will be giving me the uh, link linked map uh, is displayed in this uh, map window so i also want to center the object so i can view my area of interest so after doing this and running the code i'll be getting the result that i wanted so here in this scenario i am more interested to viewing the link map so i can compare the before and after flood events so if i zoom in I can see the difference it will going to take time so in the background you can see the terrain map here we can see the clouds is it is quite obvious during the flood event i can compare the difference this kind of a map is not uh, just uh, is very important for seeing the differences uh, for the flood event but we can see the differences in the land cover changes as well so with this map you can see that the banks are flooded well the river channel was a bit narrower in the earlier scenarios and here you can see that the flood has taken the banks and these types of comparisons is doable in the google earth engines that can be very very much helpful uh, doing the need-based assessment and the flood assessment just after the disaster as you see i am doing this with uh, within uh, three to four days after the flood event so this is doable uh, and in our next video we'll be talking about the use of a sentinel one data sets which are not dependent upon the cloud cover and which is very very powerful so till then stay tuned and do like comment and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.